Today, Precarious plays Star Wars Episode One Racer. And this is one of my favorite tracks. Okay. I'm so excited. I don't even know where to start, you know? Because I just want to tell you about all the things all at once. We'll just <laughs> um, start at the beginning of the track. No, we're not going to start at the beginning of the track. We're going to start in the most important part of the game, which is the junkyard. <laughs> the junkyard is super interesting. It's another risk versus reward mechanic. Mm -hmm. So you can go to the shop proper and you can buy nice new expensive parts right. that are gated by how far you've progressed into the game. So mm -hmm. see, right now you can get either get a plug three <clears throat> or a plug five thrust coil to increase your top speed. Uh-huh. Uh, what is the cancel? X is the cancel button. The controls, like the control mapping for this port, it's not great. I had to do it manually, like I had to go into the menu to do it. Mm -hmm. And it, it's not, not my favorite. But, oh, perfect. This is a block six thrust coil, which I think might be the best one. Mm -hmm. But out in the junkyard, do you see the green meter to the right of it? Yeah. It will not always come at full uh, integrity. So it's part busted? It might be. But that can actually be to your advantage because, so right here, the R300 repulsor grip yeah. is a much superior part to the R80 that I have. Mm -hmm. But because it is damaged, that with the trade-in value means I can get a really good, like a high potential part that's been damaged at a tremendous value. And then I can have my repair droids. If I race well, my repair droids will fix it up like after every race. as you race or Not after? After every race. After so every basically race. you buy the crud part if you can survive one race with it. Well, it depends on how many cruddy parts and how often you crash. Whenever you crash, that damages the parts on your pod. Uh -huh. So you do have to race safely to... Like, I, there, are, there are very few racing games I've played with this kind of like meta concern, this career concern. You yeah. Know? Uh, so I find it very exciting. I don't know if I'm going to get that one, though. I think I might... Yeah, see, so here's a, a nice modest example. Mm -hmm. So the trade-in price for my control linkage is quite reasonable because it's in good repair. Yeah. The control shift plate might be like one or two steps above. Yeah. Maybe it's just one step above, but because it's dinged... Yeah. Uh, I can get it for just 67 credits. And you see the little yellow part of the meter? That's... Uh, the level of improvement. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to buy that, and then they tr they swap. Mm -hmm. And don't think I want to overdo it with the air brakes. Mm -hmm. I think that's one of the more interesting things is you can actually sort of essentially over level your craft. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like this, for example, would be a nightmare on these smaller courses. Yeah, I was. Gonna <laughs> I'm gonna go say... a thousand miles or a thousand speed units per second. <laughs> Like, I was going to say, if you upgrade something like an engine too fast and then don't upgrade the brakes, and you, like, mess yourself up. Uh, well, I'm, well, okay. It is always possible to... It's in your control, you know? Yeah. I think that there's a, a small problem where, like, you wind up having to, like, tap a lot mm -hmm. to, to accelerate just a little bit. Yeah. It can get out of hand if you're, if you're not careful. Mm, so if you get like a really big boost and are not expecting it and you could just like climb into a wall suddenly. Right. But see, like right now, I am actually quite happy that my steering isn't so sensitive because mm -hmm. later in the game, uh, whenever I was testing with a, a, a much, much more complete pod racer, Mm -hmm. There was a problem where I was like, man, this game is jittery, isn't it? Yeah. And it's because I was like, uh, yeah, uh, 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 but about three times as fast as that yeah. for example. Uh, what's another thing? I, like, I wish I could get dinged a little bit. So see how the engines in the bottom left-hand corner are divided into uh, six green squares? Mm -hmm. That's representative of your your engine integrity. Whoop, whoop. Okay, he was just being a, a wiener. 
It's fine. Just being dramatic. Prima that's Donna. All. I love this place. This is one of my favorite places in games. Really? <laughs> yeah, just the tunnels, like the. But you don't. This. You just, don't like underwater. I like racing through these tunnels underwater. It's exactly what I want, which is like the look of it, but then I get out quickly. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh. <laughs> That's the flavor of underwater danger. Mm-hmm. But just for a few seconds. And besides, you're going <laughs> miles per hour. <laughs> so, you know, if you crash, you'll be obliterated, so you won't die underwater. Right. Yeah. It'll. You won't feel it. You won't feel a thing. So, these environments are pretty great, I have to say. And you know, I think that they hold up better than I really thought that they would, just because you are moving so fast. I was gonna say that, yeah, I actually, I think that this game, as we're playing it, doesn't look bad at all, just because everything is moving by so quickly, you know? Yeah, it looks a little bit sharp. Mm Mm-hmm. But that's all I can really say about it because, like, you don't get close enough to any of the, Like, the textures look really great. You know, and those fish, I don't know. They could be fish, they could be bacon. <laughs> you couldn't tell. Someone could drop some bacon in the water and it'd be like, hey, those are the right colors. It's funny. Have you ever seen people remake, like, Disney movies, but with stuff they have around their house, and they just try to make sure that the shot and the colors are right. Yes. It reminds me of that, because, like, everything is made of stickle bricks and polygons, but you're moving (laughs) so... You're moving so fast that it's like, we get the picture. We know it's Aladdin. (laughs) Like... All right, all right, I got it, yeah. Yes, we know this is the scene. Laser swords, whatever. Yeah, exactly. I know, what did I say earlier? So I was going over the list of things to not talk about, and I was like, so rule number one of when we're playing Star Wars Episode One Racer, don't talk about Star Wars. Uh-huh, because of that orbital um, laser bombardment threat from the Death Star that we talked about in right, the last I episode. I don't want a, a visit from Darth Mouse. Yeah, now that Darth Mouse owns this. <laughs> yeah, um... And I was like, so don't mention, don't mention lightsabers or any of their off-brand variants. No photon swords, uh, no flashy sticks. I know it was. No, uh, it was. It was. I know what it was, and it sounded kind of. Just say it. <laughs> Flash and slash. Yes. <laughs> I was quite happy with it. To me, that sounds a little bit more like. Oh gosh. Oh, okay. No, I was going slow enough. I hit the brakes. <laughs> to me, that sounds like a situation with like too much nudity and katanas. <laughs> Like, oh, no more heroes. No, we're not. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're like, like that. <laughs> or um, shoot, kill a kill, uh, flash and slash. Yeah. I mean, yes. Anyways, it feels like a different genre, but I know what you were getting at, and it sounds way better than. Well, I can't remember the other one you were mentioning. The uh, other euphemism for lightsaber. Photon sword. Yeah, it was just you know, nonsense. <laughs> Some combination of something that alludes to the bright and then also the sharp. Mm Mm-hmm. What was I trying to say before? Oh, yeah. So your engines can become damaged in the short term. Mm Mm-hmm. And you can, you have a repair module that you can engage. Mm Mm-hmm. In the middle of a race. Honestly, I would say that if I had a, a flaw to point out with this game... It's that um, you are restored back to your full mid-track engine integrity. Yeah. Whenever you crash and are destroyed. Oh. There's just like a a small time penalty. Mm -hmm. And I kind of wish that... I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like it would just be a penalty on a penalty. Mm-hmm. If they say, like, drop you back in at, like, 80% of your engine. Because then you would basically just always, like, hold down the repair button every yeah. time you would respawn, you know? So that's no good. So did you race safely enough for your droids to fix your, fix your part that you got? Let's check. Yeah. Everything's fixed. I'm gonna see the droids working on the car. Look at him in the corner. Going zip zap. 
Boop bap. Beep beep. Yep, that one's working on the cockpit. Mm-hmm. And then this one is working on engine one. Mm-hmm. Do I have a third one yet? Yeah, I do. There we go. So the parts you get, do they um, translate taller. visually to... <laughs> no. Okay. I I don't know, man. Like this... You... Have we played an N64 game on this channel before? We haven't, have we? Have... As hell the no. Nope. You played... No, yeah. No, we had, yeah, Majora's Mask. Yeah, okay. Majora's Mask was an N64 okay. game. But that was a post expansion pack game, so it looked, and I mean, also it was Nintendo. Oh, that little red the... thingy that you. Yeah. That yeah, you little... slot into the thing. Oh, boy. This is the. This is them good old days stuff where you would push the cartridge into the thing. And then you would also, you had this little plastic nugget, which had, what was it? Like, basically a stick of extra RAM? I don't know what part of, uh, what it really was. What the, the computational device was. Because it was just it was, called the expansion pack. And it was it had very a, exciting looking red brick that right. you just trunked into the thing. And then suddenly it grows wings and takes off. It looks a lot like this that's on the screen here. Yeah. <laughs> I miss that kind of stuff. Well, you know, it is remarkably not that different from just cracking open a computer and installing more RAM. Yeah, but but you can, I mean, like, if you when you do that, unless you have, like, a clear case, you don't get to see it. There's not, like, suddenly an exciting red brick that says your computer's faster. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could, you could tape one to your computer. I mean, like, you could go out and get a red brick and duct tape it to the computer and says, goes fast now. But, you know. 